Are you perhaps planning a group trip with friends but are suddenly getting cold feet? How many people should go on a vacation together? The moneyologist Quentin Fattrell is here to help us break it down. So Quentin, you have a reader who is worried about traveling with a friend and a friend of a friend. Right. <laughs> what are her concerns? Well, she's not happy. <laughs> yes. She feels like everybody has their two cents. Some people want to stay in a hotel with a suite and a, a sofa bed. Other people want to get separate rooms, which sort of defeats the purpose of traveling in a group so you can save money. Right, so she wants to pull the plug on the whole operation. Yes, she wants. she's thinking of turning a 10-week vacation into a seven uh, week, uh, se sorry, a 10 day vacation into a seven day or a long weekend. But you say don't do that. Don't cut short your vacation. That's a big mistake a lot of Americans make. Right. It's a really bad idea to do that because also the amount of time you spend traveling in this situation, if she was to um, shorten the vacation, she would be spending nearly a third of her time, if it's two days traveling to Seattle and back from New Jersey, to nearly a third of her time traveling. So the longer the vacation, the less time you spend traveling, the more time you have downtime. And it's that downtime when you're on vacation where you really recharge. Where you really think, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I feel really good. And you said that three is not such a bad number. You like three as a traveling Look, number. I have, I have experienced all of it. I've gone, I went traveling <laughs> solo in the former Yugoslavia by myself. And I've been on a vacation in the Greek islands uh, uh, with like, <laughs> 15 of my childhood friends, which was insane. <laughs> Fun, um, but insane. And I've been on vacations with three people too. Some have worked, some haven't. But I think three is good because it takes the pressure off. The, real, the, the two people going on vacation, unless you really know each other very well and you know you've done it in the past, can be very, very dicey. Because you feel like you have to be company all the time. You can't you have, just release yourself right, from you the have situation. This commitment to another person. And the whole idea yes. of going on vacation is so you can not have any commitments and you don't have anybody to answer to. And there's nothing worse than sitting in your hotel room with a book, you know, watching television and somebody saying, come on, we've got to go see the Sistine right. Chapel, <laughs> you know. So you say don't do two or think about two. Three is okay. What's too many? I mean, I, I think if it's a large family reunion, there might be problems. You don't yeah. want to do that every year. Right. But um, I don't think there is too many when you're on vacation. I think if, as long as you're going with the right people, and studies have shown that you're happier before the vacation <laughs> rather than after. In the planning stage. The planning is where all the happiness happens. Because <laughs> it's all of the expectation. So go ahead and plan. Make right. that magic happen. Right. And only half of Americans take all of their paid vacation from work. So it's really, it's part of your, your um, pay packet. It's really important to take it. Take that vacation, Quinn and I hope you're planning yours already this summer. I have planned every last day of... Traveling uh, alone? Yes. Traveling alone on some. I'm traveling with a good buddy for the rest of the time. All right, good to know. Oh, you broke your rule. You're traveling Everybody with another knows. person. We've gone together three times before, <laughs> and it's worked out. All right, Quentin, thank you so much for that.